what's kind of nice is that now. Look, uh... oh, f oh, did you guys see that guy? <laughs> hey, how's it going, guys? Um, it's Ray Hab here. Come back at you with another episode of the Minecraft Let's Play. Um, you see the rails, and you know what we did in the last episode, so you probably have an idea of what we're doing today. Um, yeah, <laughs> this has kind of been a little bit of a pain to take care of, but we're going to go ahead, and this is going to kind of kill two birds with one stone for us today in this episode, right? We're going to get all of the villagers we have moved down into our pit of doom, right? <laughs> um, we're going to get these guys down there. I've got a little area blocked off for them to go. I've already got one villager down there, but now we're going to go ahead and grab this guy. Oh, man. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, let's go. I don't want to kill him. Let's get this pickaxe ready. Let's see. What is the block? Okay, it's diorite. You know what? We're just going to go ahead. I did this so the zombies couldn't get them. We're going to go ahead and take those off just to be on the safe side. Let's go ahead and push this in there. All right, cool. We got them. We got them. We got them. All right. Now, off you go. So I thought I could drop the minecarts down the... Um, down our little chute that we go down, you know, but the minecart doesn't fit. So <laughs> the way we're going to do this is going to be kind of a pain, but I've got to go ahead and work on this. I'm going to get all of these guys down there. Let's see. Let's see where this little guy went. Yeah. All right. This is where I needed him to go. And now I got to do the terrible task of pushing him down the stairs, right? There's probably an easier way, but I don't think you can put a lead on villagers, so this is kind of what we're working with. But I'm going to go ahead and get all these guys down here, and I'll come back to you guys when I got that done. Because today, well, never mind, never mind. I'll tell you when we get done, because it's kind of it's kind of important. I figured I'd show you the remnants of the village, the last ones, you could say, right? There's... What we've got, I, I, I can come down here. We've got one, two, three, four villagers, right? All of these beds, I haven't made a single bed in this game, right? All of the beds that I have have came from this village. And there's still a few of them up there even in some of those houses. So, and I've got some in a chest. We've lost a lot more villagers than I thought. I thought I did a really good job on like the first couple of days that we were in this world of taking care of them. Why is there a villager that can't reach the bed? Yeah, I just figured I'd show you guys all of the... I mean, not all of, because there's not really many of them here. Villagers. Uh, so today... Well, actually, no. Before we do that, so I don't forget, and we have another entire episode where I'm breaking a rule. Um, as of right now... Since I built that structure before we made the rules, I'm not going to count that as breaking the rule, so I'm not going to have to pay the fee. If I do anything like that again, though, I will definitely have to pay the fee. You know what's even more sad about tearing this thing down now? Is that it works. Um, remember I built it and it didn't work? Well, I've been noticing that the thing does work, so it's just slow. Either that or, like, maybe something happened and my mob spawns are fixed because I just had to do a little bit of caving to go find those um, minecart rails, right? And, uh, oh, I don't have feather falling. This is, this is how I die. But you know what? You know what we're going to do? <laughs> I'm not losing all this gear. Okay, so now if I die, we're only going to lose the pickaxe. Which, I mean, honestly, it's still a... It's, 
kind of my most important pickaxe that I've had because it's my fortune pick, right? It's my my diamond breaker, my jewel thief, right? What did I call it? Yeah, my yeg. I looked up on the internet, and that's kind of where I got the name from. If you guys ever have an idea for like a name for any tool, be sure to let me know in the comments, and I'll definitely try that out, right? But I'm going to go ahead and tear this down, but while I do, I figured I could go ahead and tell you about today's project. Um, I showed you how many villagers we had, right? We're really low. I'm going to need at least eight for the farms, but there's an issue. Um... My farms are um, kind of close to the potion brewing room, right? Well, honestly, I forgot about those trap doors. So now I've got to go down and get my axe, um, which is super, super scary. Yeah, there's no way I'm doing that that way. Uh, but yeah, I need I need eight. At least eight. It's actually, wait, no. I need 16 villagers for the farm of just the area for farming. For carrots, potatoes, the wheat, and all that stuff, right? I'm going massive with this thing. Um, issue is, however, the... Oh, oh, oh. The farms aren't that low, so they the villagers I've noticed for some reason, and this has been an issue. I think it's a it's just a bedrock bug. It's downright like the worst, right? And I, I can't wrap my head around why it's so bad, but for some reason, a villager will prefer to take a job that is. You know, 30 blocks away has no access to where they are, right? So they can be completely trapped in a one by one or a, let's say a two by two box, right? With the, what is it? Their job thing for them, you know, right there. And they'll still choose to take the one that they can't ever walk to and is like 20 blocks away. And I don't know why. I it's going to be a pain, so I would think that we're going to need the 16 villagers for the farms. And then I have my brewing station, too. And I So then I think also we're going to need... Oh, come on, cats. I didn't think of it. Oh! Oh! Sorry, kitty. Sorry, kitty. Oh, man. I don't like cats anyways. But I don't hate them. <laughs> I'm not a monster. Hey, okay. But yes, I think we need to get villagers to kind of just have trapped behind the potion brewing stands. I don't I hope not, right? Either way, I'm just saying we're going to need a lot of villagers. Not just for now, but like one of my biggest plans too is to have eventually I'd like to have a village in every biome or whatever. If you watched last episode, you know about the book, right? So, we're going to need villagers. Right? I want my cities and stuff to l at least look lived in. So in this episode, I mean, it's taking me forever to get to this point. I'm sorry. I get, keep getting distracted. I don't want to hit these cats. But, yeah, we're going to... Oh, come on, kitty cat. Go away. C stop looking at me. Shoo, kitty! We're going to be making a villager breeding system, right? Now we can just... Where I've got them now... I'm kind of just going to leave them there, and I should be able to make up enough with them there, because there should be enough beds, right? So that'll just be my, like, little temporary frick chamber for them. <laughs> so that way I won't have to worry too much, right? And then, like I said, but we're gonna, we'll probably work on one at some point. Hey, little kitty. I think you're the last one, right? Oh, God, no, you're not. How many layers did I put? I think it was eight layers. God, okay.
But yeah, so we'll probably go ahead and get that frick chamber, or not frick chamber, but an actual breeding system put in place. Whew. I'm a, I'm a perfect. Okay, okay, we're gonna grab all this stuff. Grab it all. And we're gonna take these cats somewhere so I don't have to deal with them. <laughs> Come on, die. There we go. <laughs> Honestly, knowing now that my death has consequences. Oh man, this is terrifying. This is crazy. And I don't have feather falling. Like, there's no way. If I go down, I'm dead. Because when building this thing, I fell off. I think even a few times, but I have my feather falling boots. Oh man. Oh, this is fine. I got this. This isn't even scary no more. Look at me just kind of plowing right through all of this. No issues. Nothing scares me. <laughs> By the way, I'm a Minecraft professional, so. Whew. Yeah, this will be done in no time. Oh god. Oh god, what's happening? Oh, creeper. I forgot there was no roof on this place. Oh. Oh, oh, look. Look, look. There go Frick. There they go. Come on, come on, come on. Give me a little baby Bob. Little baby farmer Bob. Come on. Come on. I went through all my carrots, potatoes, and my bread. Oh, look how adorable and ugly he is. You're ugly. <laughs> Why did the cow spawn there? That's weird. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why are there so many cows? Wait a minute, what's going on? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Oh my god! Are you serious? I guess the zombie came through. I might have actually broke this door. I don't I don't think I did. There's no... Why would a zombie want to break into a cow farm? They don't eat cow brains. Good, we got this farm going up soon so I can get these cows down there. That's a wee bit upsetting. How in the world did I almost just die for no reason? What is wrong with Bedrock? This, this game is busted, but as you can see, we got some TNT, so we're going to have to do some more groundbreaking work, and that's kind of what I'm about to do now. Well, this is a little bit scary. I mean, if I die this way, there's no gear we're going to get back to retire, so that's going to be kind of crappy, but... <laughs> oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. All right. You know what? I don't know why I'm messing with this. I have fire uh, breathing potions or whatever they're called. <laughs> Well, um, this is going to create quite a bit of a mess, um, <laughs> but, um, you know what, let's do it, All right, give me that, yeah, it's going to create quite a bit of a mess. Oh, ah, hey, 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 now. <laughs> that wasn't too bad of a mess, actually. I don't know if any of those ever went off, though. <gasps> let's cover that up. <laughs> um, let's go check this side. Oh, wait, did this side go all the way off? No. Um, alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of this TNT off.
There we go. That's what I've been wanting. Well, there's the mess that I was talking about. Oh no, it ain't that block. Give me that damn sight. All right. Um, I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> I have prepared. I do have. Uh, they're not fire breathing potions, but fire resist potions. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up, and then I guess I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so fun times over. <laughs> We got all this stuff cleared out, cleaned up enough of the mess. I definitely wanted to go ahead and get some more obsidian. I actually got a few stacks now, so that's kind of nice. Um, what's cool, though, is... Oh, oh, don't want to step in the lava. Um, there's actually a pretty expansive cave system out this way. I haven't lit it all up yet. I haven't explored all of it, but maybe we can do that sometime on camera because I've came up with an idea for this area but first things first we have to build the villager breeding system so we're going to turn all of these buckets into the villager breeder system right about now and there it is <laughs> um yeah that was pretty quick wasn't it it is complete, however, uh, for the most part, right? We'll still work out. There's some other things I got to do, but this is a completely automated system for villager breeder. In my testing in my creative world, I was getting about 10 villagers for every two stacks of carrots, and it was taking about, I don't know, maybe five minutes, if that, to get all 10 of them. The only problem, if I just noticed this, this is kind of in the way. Okay, and that's taken care of. Um, pretty much the only reason I flipped that over is because this is where you put the carrots into to kind of get the system started. Um, I have more than just the two beds required. Well, three beds, right? Uh, that's just because basically what if, well, no, okay. This automated system is completely automated. The problem, the only problem that I that I can think of right now, I've got, I think, six beds up there. Pretty much the way it works is we put the carrots or bread or potatoes, whatever it is we're using to breed that day, right? Probably going to be carrots. As long as we don't fill all of these up, we don't put nine stacks in at one time, so you can... Put about five or six stacks in here easily right of carrots and they'll automatically feed through the system so every carrot that those guys don't pick up will get picked up by these hoppers right here transfer back over to this dispenser go up go back around and there'll be a dis there's a dispenser above their heads that'll shoot the carrots back down at them and it works works really well they actually go through I think the two stacks of carrots, they go through in about a little less, it's less than five minutes, and you get all of the babies. So it's super, super efficient. Kind of a big, ugly mess. Like I said, again, I'm not the greatest redstoner. Uh, you should see the first prototype of this, though. It was ginormous. I couldn't figure, I didn't know what I was doing. Especially with the minecart rails, the system I have to get the carts to send these villagers on their way, right, is unreal. It's really sad, actually. <laughs> I've got so, I don't know, it was just a mess, but I've actually cleaned that up and it looks pretty amazing, too. That's actually what we're probably going to work on now. But first, I might go ahead and show you that it does work for me today. Uh -huh. no, no, nobody cares. You don't have nothing good. Get out of here, llamas. Spitty, get on. Go, go. Oh, well, hello there, Mr. Staircase Cow. How long have you been there? You, this is, this is getting out of hand. These cows are everywhere from our cow farm, a little cow barn, whatever, that came with the village. Zombie broke the door. Now they're everywhere. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put 48 carrots. I looked on the Minecraft wiki. It says that for them to breed, 
they need at least 12 carats a piece in their inventory and they have to be willing or whatever um there's a lot of caves back there i hope zombies don't interfere with this system look you can see that he's kind of picking them up you see the head bobbing but you hear how it's how it's starting to stop that means they've they've got all of the carrots in their inventory oh who you see the hearts uh-oh uh-oh that's a good sign that's a real good sign let's get the boat let's ah <laughs> let's get this little guy ready oh 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 no nope. so you have these uh trap doors basically they'll go see see there's a baby we just gotta wait now for the baby there it goes look at him the water pushes them into this corner the glass is transparent grabs him up and there he goes he's off so as you can see it does work there's one baby oh there's two baby look Perfect, 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 perfect. So, I think that's what I did, right? 48 should give me two babies. All right, yeah, so there's two babies, that's it. That was really, really quick too. What was that? Less, that was less than a minute after I put the carrots into the system, so. But yeah, I'm super happy with that build. I'm going to go ahead and work on the rail system for it, maybe at a later time. Mainly because it's not the most important thing for me right now. Uh, we do have, like, all I was doing it, I kind of wanted to get it set up for the farms, right? So that's kind of what the point of this was for now. So I'll get enough of these villagers together <laughs> to fulfill my farming needs. <laughs> and then we could probably work on that rail system at a later time. Faces, worn out places, worn out faces. Oh my, what is up with these babies? Okay, this is a little strange. I wasn't expecting to come back and there'd be two more. I hope this thing, okay, so that's another thing with this, well, no. Because we don't store villagers here. If they just, you know, want to have babies whenever they want, there's a chance this system might not work and I'll have to come up with something else. I'm glad we got these two. I was pretty much... No, 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 Come back, come back, come back. Stop, stop. There you go. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Don't go too fast. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, come on. Stop bouncing. Okay, you're not being funny no more. This isn't cute. Oh, baby zombies. Not baby zombies, baby villagers. These guys, I swear, villagers are the worst. Oh, oh, get out of there, baby. Get out of there. Okay, he's not suffocating. Here we go. All right. Now go. Go get in the bed. Come on. Look, look. There's an orange one. There's a yellow one. There's a blue one. There you go. I figured you was an orange baby. Weirdo. Nothing against anybody who likes the color orange. Orange just is not on favorite colors. <laughs> we don't need a large quantity of them really right now. It's easy enough to get them when we do. Our biggest issue is that we've been running off of the little farms up top that came with the village, which was a decent amount of plots. Don't get me wrong. It's been more than enough to suffice for my food needs, right? And I'm fat. I eat a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and get to work on these farms now that we've got a way of getting villagers in a lot easier than having to <laughs> utilize the frick chamber <laughs> before we do that i think this would be a good time to remind you guys that if you are liking this make sure to hit that like button right if you like this video and to subscribe so you don't miss out any more of this great content 
this place down here is going to be massive. It's going to be something that I never thought I could ever do in Minecraft. The ideas are going. I've got them. I know exactly what I'm going to do with each tunnel. And I would just be super excited to bring all of you guys along with me for the ride. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this farming. Well, there was a bit of a massacre. <laughs> I, um... I'm not good with villagers. I don't understand their mechanics. I've spent so much time on the wiki page. I've looked at all the different tutorials. I'll show you, I'll share the link of like the first one I watched that gave me the idea for this uh, kind of farm, right? I give them beds. I don't, I don't, I don't really know exactly. I don't think they needed them, but they weren't really matching with these because I have the potion brewing stand up top. It's been a real pain. So I end up having to kill them all. I've actually had to kill them all twice. <laughs> Good thing we built the um, breeding machine a little ways over there. But this side of the wall will all be carrots because I'm kind of trying to future proof for when we get a gold farm and we can switch to golden carrots. This side over here will be split between beets and potatoes. Which, I don't know what beets are used for. I have no idea. I'll, I don't ever eat them. I don't think they're even worth eating. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, those things will still be grown because that's kind of one of the things on my list of things to do with this Let's Play is to have every item farmed. So, might as well tick that one off the list, right? Um, but, one thing is that this place is actually not a hundred blocks away from this side of the farms, right? The potato farms. So I've already tried to get some in here and I had the barrels over there at, next to water. So every time I got one of the villagers from the breeding system over to here, they were, they were turning into fishermen. So I've had to kill a bunch of them, so now I've figured out what I'll do is I'll take the villagers from the breeder, a hundred blocks that way, let them grow up and pair to those beds, and i got all six of them. So I've got all the villagers we need for over here. I've ripped up the, the barrels, right, and... I left these guys up here with only two beds for now, which these two are linked to. So hopefully these villagers over this direction won't ever switch to those beds. And I kind of want that to be the permanent spot. I've got an idea. I'm going to take the OG village from up top and I'm going to rebuild it down here as if it's an underground village with like this, the built the... the the top of it looking real cave-like, right? Instead of being artificially, you know, outside, it'll just look like it's underground, right? But the whole village, our whole spawn village, right, will be down here. Haven't I told you before not... Did you ain't allowed down here? This base huh? is off... Li yeah, yeah. What? <coughs> Die. Get out of here. You and your little spitty spies... These are my secrets. You can't be down here. So, I went ahead and I got the farms going. Um, and it's, I'm not going to lie to you. It's kind of got the same issue as the old creeper farm. Um, it's just slow. It's just slow. Everything in my world is slow. Now, I didn't show, I, I've been through several, several processes. I've, I've killed this bad boy old slap chop right has killed so many villagers this was such a pain to get them all all in here um i ended up going on to youtube tube to figure out these minecart things because 
I don't know. I think it's bedrock. I think it's my world. I don't know, but I can't get them to stay sideways, right? This guy always bumps them, no matter what I do. And the guy shows this. Um, I have his name somewhere. I actually created a playlist for other creators, like where I've say I, I'm struggling with trying to figure out how something works. And I have to use a design or at least use some kind of bits and pieces from a design or I can't figure something out. So I kind of get the help from other YouTubers. I've got a playlist now. Should be public. I think it's just called Other Creators Designs. <laughs> I might think of something else to name that. But that's there for you guys to go and see whenever you need to. And I'm also, in any video that I use somebody else's design, I'll have the link down here in the description but this guy channel name in specific for the design of these farms is tbogs <laughs> i don't know i just seen him randomly while i was looking up how to fix this issue with the minecarts and he showed it and it didn't really do anything different for me so these still move around which is kind of scary but Yes, I've got this side done. All of these farms on this side are carrots, right? All four of them. Like I said, I'm kind of future prepping for when we inevitably, because I feel like at some point we will 100% be switching to golden carrots. Over here on this side, we've got our beets and potatoes. Really, I don't think there's any point. In beets, other than the fact that I said I want to have farmed every item in the game at some point. Then I'll get the hopper systems and stuff put in place. Probably after, off camera, after this video is over. Because we're at that point again. And it's time to end the episode. In the next episode... We'll be going on a little bit of an adventure. Actually, my plan is to kind of map out our area. It's something that we haven't done for some reason. If you are excited to see that episode, see this adventure, go along with it. Go along with me on that adventure. Go ahead and like this video so that way I know that's something you'll be interested in. And comment down below maybe some things that we should be on the lookout for right i'll see you guys in the next one peace <laughs>